Welcome back. Well, if the pain's not staggering enough, the numbers are. 31 million Americans experience low back pain at any given time. In fact, it's the leading cause of disability worldwide. TV 20's health reporter Emily Burris explains one type of back pain can be improved, even erased with surgery. And now new, a new study sheds shed some light on how successful that surgery can be. If someone asked you to point out the SI joint, chances are you wouldn't know where to look. But this integral part of your back is often the source of pain as you age. Now a new device is gaining ground and offering a minimally invasive surgery with permanent results. Waking up every day in pain is no fun. Judy Neal considers herself an active person, doing everything from traveling to volunteering in her spare time playing the accordion. But in 2012, pain in her lower back, hip, and leg became so debilitating, even waking up was painful. Neal suffered from inflammation to her sacroiliac, or SI joint, the triangular-shaped bone at the bottom of the pelvis connecting the spine to the hip bone. I did um, physical therapy. I did several injections, I did acupuncture, I did chiropractor, really feel like I tried every option that was available to not have surgery. But when surgery was decidedly the best option, she saw Dr. John Stevenson for an SI fusion implant. Potential patient population for SI joint dysfunction is enormous. A lot of times a patient will come in with lower back pain and it turns out to be SI joint pain or they'll have a hip pain problem and it turns out to be the SI joint. Triangular titanium bars are inserted through a small incision in the back stabilizing the SI joint to the hip bone. A recent study found that compared to open traditional surgery, the fusion implant system offered fewer complications, a shorter recovery time, and a higher degree of pain relief. Most people were seeing improvement right after surgery, and then that improvement can occur, can continue to occur for the next one to two months. Dr. Stevenson and North Florida Regional Medical Center are now part of a more widespread study evaluating the implant's safety and effectiveness. As for Neil, she says it's effective as she can now move around again virtually pain-free. Where I am today and able to get out and go and do and everything is wonderful, wonderful. Dr. Stevenson says data collected six months into their study shows radical improvements in patients' levels of pain and their quality of life. Emily Burris, TV 20 News.